becomes a, a very difficult type of environment for people to really get their voice out and, and be heard. And so, Representative Tashara Jones, the Assistant Minority Leader, has a piece of legislation that she is sponsoring. The uh, caucus is getting behind, and I will turn it over to her. Uh, thank you for coming today. Today, we're here to tell the citizens of Missouri that we hear your cries for ethics reform. In 2010, my friend and former colleague Kevin Wilson unanimously passed one of the most comprehensive ethics bills out of his committee, House Bill 2300. The majority party played games with it, stripped it of, of its most important provisions, put it in another bill, and dubbed it the greatest ethics bill in the universe. Earlier this year, the Missouri Supreme Court reversed the law due to Hammersmith provisions, as they should. We were elected to be serious about ethics reform and not play games. For more than a month, we waited for action from the House Republican leadership on replacement legislation. Ensuring integrity and accountability in state government should be a priority for all lawmakers. And if Republicans won't act, then Democrats will. While we're on the subject of integrity, today Missouri's integrity report card was released. And how did we fare? Overall, Missouri has a C minus. We have an F for public access to information, an F for political financing, a D minus in lobbying disclosure, a D plus in legislative accountability. This bill is 99% the same as House Bill 2300, except for two major provisions we fixed. We fixed the language about credit unions not being able to contribute, and campaign monies can be only held in low interest bearing normal bank accounts and cannot be invested. And at this time, I'll take any questions you may have. Do you think there's enough time for this session to move through something as complicated as an ethics bill? Absolutely. In the first eight weeks, we've made it easier to discriminate and harder to vote, so we can do ethics reform. Do you have any assurances or any indications that the uh, Republican majority will actually give this bill a hearing or pass along to give the vote? They make it a priority, we can get it done. Do you have any concerns about mm -hmm. ethics getting politicized by trying to do it in an election year? House Bill 2300 was passed in an election year. Do you have concerns that this could become politicized? Well, anything in this body becomes politicized. Why did you decide to go beyond what was struck down by the Supreme Court and include the campaign finance? limits, uh, lower, a lower threshold for reporting uh, contributions within 48 hours and, and some of the other steps that you've taken to you go beyond what was in the bill struck down by the High Court. Well, this is the exact same bill that was unanimously passed out of the Special Committee on Ethics Reform, which was House Bill 2300. So we just simply did a copy and paste. We, we know that it was passed in a bipartisan fashion, and, and we can do it again. Are you willing to work with Republicans to alter the bill, or is this the bill that you want to see come on the Absolutely. We're open to any discussion. Have yeah, any Republicans shown any interest in uh, working with you on this bill yet? Uh, we don't know. It's the first day back. We'll see. What's, why are you throwing in the, um, the issue of, uh, of investments? Um, this speaker made some what are now what are currently legal investments uh, looking towards his uh, long-term political future um, what's wrong with him investing in stock as opposed to a money market account what's the difference we are addressing this towards all all uh, campaign expenditures not just one particular person there are other candidates who currently have monies in cds and money market investments so we're trying to make the playing field even Right, I mean, they're, they're, and, and that's been the traditional way, place to park um, excess campaign cash was in these, was, was in a money market fund or a, or a certificate of deposit. The, the law says, says secure investments in securities um, are legal right now. What is so bad about them that needs to be changed? You shouldn't be able to make money off of it. These are campaign, this, this, these are campaign money that should be used for campaigning. Not for, not for returns on investments and making money off of it. Well, doesn't it make it easier on your contributors if you make a lot of money on your investments and then you run out the campaign on that? I don't have those kind of contributors. <laughs> <laughs> Representative Kander filed a bill after the Supreme Court struck down the uh, 
2010 ethics law. Is he, uh, is he going to be cooperating with this bill, or will he still have his bill, and then there will be this one? Uh, we would hope so. As you know, in this body, we have many vehicles to try and get something done, so we would hope that he would sign on. <coughs> is there any significance to him not being here today? Other than he's just not here yet. No. Any other questions? Okay, thank you for coming.